Here we go, East Alabama and West Georgia. We are halfway through the work week. Welcome to your Wednesday. This is your primetime forecast for July 21, 2021 on Dr. Don's weather page. Don't forget to head over to our weather store and pick up your Dr. Don attire. We have those t-shirts like you see the one I'm wearing this morning. Also, we have pocket tees with the logo over on the front pocket. We have those distressed caps. These things are embroidered. I'm telling you, they are very, very nice. We also have your coffee cups so you can enjoy drinking coffee with me each morning while you're watching your weather forecast. We have the COVID mask for you if you're still being careful out there. Nothing wrong with that. And, of course, we have the bumper stickers for your automobile. So be sure and go. The link is at the very top of this video. It's right up th right up there. Go look right up there on top. <laughs> well, wait till after the forecast. And then go up there and click on that link. Uh, that carries you over to our weather store where you can purchase these items and you'll be supporting Dr. Don's weather page at the same time. We depend on you and our partners to be able to keep us going here on Dr. Don's weather. Let's talk about some tropics this morning. Yeah, we finally have a little something, something out there to talk about, but hey, they much to this. This is a broad non-tropical low pressure system that's sitting off the, um, well, it will be. It hasn't developed yet. It's forecast to develop off the coast of the southeastern United States by Friday or early Saturday. Environmental conditions are expected to become marginally conducive for some gradual development over the weekend while the system meanders offshore the coast of South Carolina, Georgia, and northeastern Florida. Only about a 20% chance right now of formation. Uh, that's not a prime location to try to get your act going because it's right there off the coastline. But nonetheless, we'll keep an eye on this. And if you're headed over to Charleston, Hilton Head, Savannah, or Jacksonville over the weekend or the first part of next week, just make sure you keep a close eye on the latest weather forecast down there. All right, here we go with your Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for your Wednesday. General scattered afternoon thunderstorms across Alabama and Georgia again today and again tomorrow <laughs> and again Friday. This pattern is with us for a minute, but I do have good news. I think I see a change in the pattern on the way. More about that in just a few moments. High temperatures this afternoon, 84 in Roanoke and Wadley and Weedowie, 83 up on the hill in Woodland. We'll hit 83 in both Lineville and Ashland. Anniston tops out at 86. Alexander City goes to 85 in Auburn. Tops out at 85 this afternoon as well. I think sunshine this morning. A few clouds here and there. And then those pesky showers and thunderstorms return again this afternoon. It's not going to rain at everybody's house. But where these storms do develop, very heavy rainfall, gusty winds and dangerous lightning all are possible. Now, we stayed under a flash flood watch most of the day yesterday. And for the most part, the widespread heavy rainfall did not materialize. But folks, I was in Birmingham Monday night uh, for a exercise I had to participate in yesterday. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been doing this a long time. And uh, right there uh, at the intersection of 280 and 459, Monday evening, probably around uh, 5 o'clock, between 4 and 5, that was some of the hardest rainfall I think I've ever seen. And, you know, there was massive flooding uh, over on Highway 31 there, just south of Birmingham uh, at the same time. And I, I wasn't very far from that location at all. And I believe it. That was some kind of rainfall. We didn't see that happen yesterday, though it certainly could have. The atmosphere was very conducive for it. And it could happen again this afternoon. Um, the, these thunderstorms that are being produced are so tropical in nature because of the of the setup out there, they are very proficient in, in the amount of rainfall that, they, that they're producing. So be real careful if you do get caught under one of these thunderstorms this afternoon. Again, it's not going to rain everywhere, but there is an 80% chance you'll see a raindrop today. 
Yeah, mostly partly cloudy to cloudy skies this morning. Then those showers and thunderstorms develop in the heat of the afternoon and continue into early evening. 84 your afternoon high down to 71 tonight. We'll uh, lose most of the chance of rain by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Only a 20% chance during the overnight. Then on Thursday, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, 85. Friday, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, 88. And then here comes the change. I think the weekend, for the most part, is going to be dry. Um, the uh, the moisture is going to kind of go away. We're going to have a ridge move into Alabama. Going to dry things out a bit. Only a 30% chance of rain Saturday, a 20% chance on Sunday. We go back to mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. But look what happens to the temperature. We go from muggy and wet to hot and dry, which is more typical for this time of year 88 on saturday 90 on sunday monday we have a 40 percent chance of rain we hit 90 degrees and right now it looks like the dry warm hot pattern will continue well into next week so this is not going to uh, go away anytime soon let's take a look at your radar this morning and uh, we start off with a complete shot of the united states a few showers off the coast of north carolina and then we'll get a little bit closer to the southeastern United States. We'll put the infrared shot on to show you where the clouds are. Thick clouds over Randolph, Clay, down into Coosa, Tallapoosa. Northeast Chambers and parts of Troop County seeing a little bit of sun this morning. But that won't last long as that cloud deck to your west is slowly moving in your general direction. Now let's turn the radar on. You see some scattered showers down there just to the west of Dothan, north of Panama City, some showers south of Montgomery, a few showers west of Birmingham, back over toward Tuscaloosa. Also up there on the north end of Atlanta Metro, we see a few showers this morning and uh, then a few scattered showers down there around Mobile as well now let's go a little bit closer to the house and you can see that maybe a sprinkle or two there in southeast randolph over into herd uh, places like the lime community may be getting a little sprinkle this morning also just to the east of highway 431 there just east of marcoot a little rain falling over in chambers county uh, one storm trying to get going this morning north of Realtown down there in tallapoosa county other than that, uh, not a whole lot showing up on the radar right now. That, that will change as we go throughout the day. Don't forget to head over to drdonwx.com. That's everything Dr. Don. You can find all of our download um, uh, files there for the weather app to put on your phone. You can go over to our weather store. You can also head over to uh, the, the uh, God's Country page where you can download the Mixer app so you can listen to God's Country and I did that. Uh, I, I do it all over the place. I ride all over the state of Georgia. I listen to God's country on my radio, just like I'm sitting in downtown Ashland because I have the Mixler app on my phone. I well, though, was in Alabama on Monday, and I got to tell you, I listened to uh, out of the air without the Mixler app. I listen to God's country and the classic on Highway 280 from Auburn all the way uh, to Sylacauga. I mean, it was pretty cool. I was able to pick, pick them up that well. So you can listen to them out of the air there in East Alabama as well. Also, while you're at drdonwx.com, there's a button there on the top of the page that says donate. That's how you support Dr. Don's weather. And we ask that you please consider doing that. If you own a business and you'd like to become a partner, go over there to the menu where it says more click that and then scroll down to where it says support packages you can do it all online it's quick it's fast it's secure and we can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast which will be tomorrow morning by the way good lord willing and the creek don't rise we'll see you tomorrow y'all have a fantastic wednesday bye now